Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and today we're going to be reviewing the Villaros Arduino Starter Kit. Now, because I know nothing about this, Dad's gonna take the reins. Have fun. Okay, let's open the box. And uh, at the end of this, be on the lookout, I'll show you a web page where I got the information from that compares four of the starter kits that's available and it helps you make the choice a little easier. Very good page. I can recommend it. So let's look what's in the box. So this is the little box that the Arduino comes in. I'll just show you all the sides. There's nothing really important written on it. It says open source electronics there. Um, and I know a lot of people sell imitations of Arduinos. This is a real Arduino. Um, there's the bottom end of it. We love open source and a lot of fine print there. Alrighty, so let's pop it out. I'll just wait, let's see what else is here. Oh, a nice little stickers if you're into that kind of stuff. DIY hacker hacked. Oh, hacked. It says hacked. We love open source there, Arduino there, Arduino here. So you can stick that on your projects if you want. As you can see here, it's the Uno Arduino. Revision 3, version 3 of the board. That's important. That's the latest available version of the chip. Or of the board, I think. Um, inputs and outputs around here. Here's the microprocessor, power, cable, and USB. You can power it from the USB if I uh, if I'm not mistaken, some headers over there, and we'll figure all that out as we go along. It looks like a little reset button or something there. Um, let me show you the bottom of the board there. There's the bottom. So this is the real deal. So you won't have any compatibility issues uh, with this guy. This here is a little breadboard, about the same size as the motherboard that comes with it not very big but big enough for I think there's like 17 different uh, projects that you can build with this guy we'll have a look at the book later uh, here's some jumper wires as you can see all the male ends and for those of you who don't know they stick in these little holes like that on the one end, on the other end, it goes into the motherboard and in those little holes there. So that's the other side of it. As you can see, there's some long ones, some medium ones, some shorter ones, all different colors. Should be enough here to do a lot of projects. Okay, this is the USB cable. Comes in a little bag. Uh, I can open it nothing fancy about it this part goes in your computer that part goes in the in the uh, main board the Arduino board and as I said this is both a data cable you'll use it to to program the Arduino chip with as well as you can use it for to power the board this uh, here seems like a base plate for putting your breadboard on the one side maybe um, it's sticky. Oh, it's got a double-sided tape there that you're gonna peel off and you're gonna stick it in here. Seems like. And on the other side, your motherboard was, was sort of screwed down there. There's a few screws at the bottom here. And a little baggy, just a couple. So that's what the bottom looks like. So it's just a little, um, I guess, insulation board to make sure you don't accidentally short these pins out at the bottom. So it's always nice to 
to have it away from anything else that could conduct electricity. A little nice touch there. Let's see what's in this little box. Nope. So this is your DC motor. You'll see it's already pre-fitted with uh, jumper, jumper wires. And this is probably a very standard motor that you get in toys nowadays. Probably 3 to 5 volt variation motor. This is the stepper motor. A little more complex, a few more cables. Let me turn it this way. So that's what it looks like. I guess we'll figure out what this is. I don't know if it's some mounts. It's got something to do with these motors anyways. Uh, but I don't know exactly where they come into play. This is the LCD module, as you can see there on the label. Let's open this up. Just gonna tear through it. So I think this is a two row 24 character LCD, if I remember correctly. Um, all the necessary pins there. Don't know anything about it other than that. So we'll see uh, what we can do with that. Hot bag of things. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay guys, this is what came out of the bag. As you can see, a bunch of red LEDs, a bunch of yellow ones, I didn't count them. Uh, lots, 10 or so, maybe 12 of each. Couple push buttons. That seems like a buzzer. This is some chip. Uh, I'm not sure what that does yet. This here is a trim pot or a variable resistor. I think that's basically what it is. Um, it's a couple Zener, I think those are Zener diodes. Uh, this is a light sensor of some sort. This is a tricolor LED. And this is a relay, I believe. And then there's these baggies of uh, resistors. There's how many in there? That's 10k. 10 kilo ohm, as you can see there. I didn't open them. I want to keep them together like that. That's that baggy and this baggy here is, as you can see, at 1 6 watt, 5% 330 ohm. So I guess this is the size we're going to use a lot of. There's, there's quite a few in here. I don't know, probably 20 or something. There's quite a few. This here is for your battery, obviously, if, um, one of those. What do you call those batteries? Uh, it's 9 volts, typically. It's the rectangular one. Rectangular battery and this plugs into your board. Okay guys, so this is the reason why I bought this kit specifically. is because of this book. Uh, and the webpage will make that clearer if you see what's following here. If you keep watching this video, we'll show you the webpage. And uh, it's because of this guide that I bought this specific kit for us. I'm not saying it's the right thing for everybody, but it's uh, it's the right thing for us, I believe. Um, this is a very, very good book from what I saw on the, or guide, from what I saw on the webpage. You'll see, you can do Windows, Mac, Linux, um, and that's, I, I believe that's for the, the IDE, the a development environment that you get with this that you have to download I believe as you can see there's instructions for for that uh, where you get the software from and so on and then the various comprehensive tutorials yeah so we'll have to work through this there's even some stuff that you 
can get from Volros's site as well. Um, I'm not going to go through this, but I'll quickly a little bit about uh, electronics, how positive and negative DC current works, LED works, what you need. So a good introduction into electronics, I believe, um, how the breadboard works, what kind of project you, you can bolt, so on. It discusses all the different components here. Um, let's see that too. Also, it just mentions the integrated circuit. I was wondering what the specific chip does, but it doesn't say here. Um, there's the photoresistor potentiometer or a trim part. And all the different uh, LEDs. So there they show you that, that thing I wondered about. It sort of fits on the motor shaft. And so on. Let's quickly. So Dad, while we flip through, can this channel expect a video for each of the, I suppose, tutorial projects that this book gives you? Yeah, I think we're planning on, uh, on going through these one by one to slowly introduce Aiden into electronics and robotics. That's the whole purpose of this. I've, I've got experience with programming and electronics, but he doesn't with electronics. He does with programming. Well. So that's the idea. We'll go through here and see um, what makes sense for us to bolt. And if it's all of them, then we're going to make videos on all of them. And we'll show you both the hardware and software parts, what we download, what we code. How we, how we do that, how we stick uh, stuff together. It, the, I mean, this graphics here is very, very helpful, helpful uh, very explicit. So you almost cannot go wrong well. with this, it seems like. So it shows you the parts list for the different projects. Very, very nice guide. I was very impressed when I saw this online. Um, even shows you uh, waveforms of different voltages and such. So it probably explains you a little bit how all that works. So, uh, a good starter kit. Um, What's the end goal in mind with this? Like, what do we want to build at the end of this? Um, we open to, at some point, get a car that can balance itself on two wheels. Um, Commonly known as a Segway, for those who don't speak geek. Yeah, well, in this case, just a little car this big. So, uh, if we can get that to work, we'll need more components than what's here for that. You, you need an accelerometer, a gyro, gyroscope, gyroscope, whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's the end goal. Leave it there. Yeah, we'll we'll find out, and we're gonna definitely learn as we go. Um, but yeah, that's the skit. So now we'll be moving on with the computer side of it, which is... Okay guys, let me show you uh, how I got to this web page that I was talking about. If you type in Google compare Arduino starter kits, like there, this is what you get. And, and this one with pretzellogic.net is the one that you want. Click on that. And I'll see if I can make it a little bigger. I'll put this link in the, in the description as well, so you can find it. And this compares four different ones, the official starter kit, the Sun Founder one, Vildros, as well as SparkFun, apparently they're the same thing. And the ARDX starter kit. There's been some updates to this page as well, so um, shows you what you get in each kit. Here's the one we just did. Sun Founder one. ARDX. And then it compares them very nicely. Price wise, as well as how many projects. Um, whether it's a genuine Uno R3 in, the, in there. And you can see this one is not. 
um, what chip is in there, size of the breadboard, LCD, if any, and so on. All the different components compared, numbers, very, very thoroughly done, very nicely done. Don't have to read that. But this part here is what um, convinced me. It compared the guides of the different projects. And I'm very partial to Arduino, the, the original kit. But that's from, from this I get it that that's more advanced, which is fine for me, but not fine for Aiden. Um, so I wanted to give him the best possible way to get started with robotics. And here we go. Um, this is what they say there, and please read it at your own leisure. Um, I was very impressed with this guide, and it helped me make a decision on which kit to buy. Hopefully it will do the same for you. And that's basically, here's a conclusion even. Obviously don't just decide on price or on number of components. Look at everything and make the best decision for yourself. In that video, Dad unboxed the Vilros Ultimate Starter Kit. If you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.